Hi, it's John here. I've just been down to the post office and, uh, well, what is it? It's uh, quarter past four on um, Tuesday. And, uh, oh, oh, blimey, there's some smell of gas in the air. Uh, I've just gone on to the BBC website and they say it's coming from France. Yeah, we got a gas leak from France. But it's harmless, they say. That's good. But we won't need the gas mask yet then. Uh, it's it's um, the gas is reported to be mercaptan, mer a harmless additive to natural gas. Well, we had some. Uh, what was I cooking the other day? Anyway, I had some leaks in it, and uh, oh, I know it was garlic, garlic bread, and um, how did it call? I don't ask for help. They don't ask for help. It smells like gas. I said, don't, don't say that. We won't be in it. But I seem to remember that the smell that they do put into gas, natural gas. Is, is a sort of garlic smell because natural gas hasn't got any smell but this is French French um, gas it, it didn't quite sound that smell like English gas Lubrizol um, oh, oh no Lubrizol is the manufacturer near Rouen 70 miles, 75 miles north of Paris and winds blew the cloud over north France on Monday night and then into England on Tuesday England into England not Great Britain, not Wales, uh, it's only England that's got it, and uh, oh, there's been a football match postponed, Rouen and Marseille has been postponed because of the stink, wow, I'd better get used to it wouldn't they, must be bad over there then, I wouldn't be so worried about the stink, I'd be more, more, more worried about the um, effect on health or, or um, explosions, it's um, a new one, isn't it? I never realised we were quite so close to France to be getting the smells of gas leaks. They must have let a hell of a lot go. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. What, what's going to happen next? Right, bye.